What's up? Today I'm going to show you seven variations of rock, paper, scissors. As you probably already know, rock, paper, scissors can be a great game for teaching English. Today, hopefully I can show you some variations that maybe you haven't seen before and that you can implement in your own class. Okay, class begins. Our first game is evolution. To begin with, you want to elicit animals from your students. The first animal should be small and they should then gradually get bigger. So for example, here I have a butterfly and then gradually it will evolve to become an elephant. The game is like this. To begin with, you tell your students that they are all butterflies and they will walk around the class like a butterfly. When they meet another student, they'll ask today's question. So maybe for example, can you play football? Yes, I can. They'll then paper, scissors, stone. The student that is the winner they will become a mouse. The student that is a loser, they are still a butterfly. If I'm a mouse and then I lose, I'll go back to being a butterfly. You can keep playing until one student becomes an elephant. They will be the winner. Our second game is Bear Ninja Hunter. This game, exactly the same as paper, scissors, stone, but instead of our paper, scissors and stone, we're going to use bear, hunter, ninja, for the game, students again can mingle around the class and use the language point that you want to practice. Then they'll go back to back and say three, two, one. For the game, bear will beat hunter, hunter will beat ninja, and ninja will beat bear. Okay guys, our third variation is spider. For this, students will need a piece of paper or their textbook and also a pen or pencil. They're going to mingle around the classroom, ask their English question, and again play paper, scissors, stone. If you are the winner, you can draw one part of the spider. If you are the loser, you're going to have to wait until you win one round of paper, scissors, stone. You'll keep playing until one student completes their spider. Game number four is another great rock, paper, scissors game, King of the Hill. First, you want to choose four or five students to come to the front. They're going to stand in a line with a flashcard or a question. The last student, they will be the king. Then you're going to choose one student to come to the front. They will be the challenger. They will go to the first student and they'll ask them a question and then play rock, paper, scissors. If they are the winner, they'll then move on to the second student and keep going so they can challenge the king. If they get to the second student but lose, they'll change places with the third student. If they get to the third student and lose, they'll change places with the second student and so on. If they get to the king and defeat the king, they will become the new king, the new king on the hill. Game number five is rock, paper, scissors train. Students again are going to walk around the class practicing their English question and play rock paper scissors. This time if a student is a loser they will join on to the student that is a winner like a train. You'll keep playing the game until eventually the whole class is one long train. Game number six is board game rock paper scissors. As you probably already know Board games can be a great tool for teaching English. The game is very simple. The students will play rock, paper, scissors. The student that is the winner will move one space and the other student will ask them a question. Keep playing until one student wins. Here, I've made it very simple, just as an example. Another variation is you can print out some sheets and get students to play in pairs or maybe even get students to think of their own questions. Our last variation of rock, paper, scissors is elephant, mouse, cat. This game is very similar to the Bear Ninja Hunter, but perhaps you are teaching younger children and you don't want to use the Hunter or Ninja. Again, the game, very simple. Students will stand back to back. Three, two, one. This time, the elephant will stomp on the cat. The cat will catch the mouse and the mouse will scare the elephant. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the games today. Please remember to subscribe. I'll be back with more great games soon. See you next time.